Hi there. So if you have a new iPhone 7 that's running on uh, AT&T or T-Mobile, whether it's an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 7 Plus, one of the things you might have noticed that the, is that the field test mode no longer gives you a DBM signal strength reading. Um, so it's much harder to see how to get um, a signal reading off your, off your phone. Uh, so what I'm just going to quickly show you in this tutorial is how to get that information. It's a little bit hidden, but it's not so hard to get to. Um, so first you go to the dial pad, you type in the field test mode code, which is star 3001, pound one, two, three, four, five, pound star, and you hit dial. And that opens up field test mode. Um, so in the past, those top bars and the, those, those little signal bars in the top left would be replaced with um, a uh, DBM signal reading, that's no longer the case. To get to that information now, you have to choose the technology that you're on. Now in most cases, for most people on AT&T and uh, T-Mobile, that's gonna be LTE. Uh, all four of the major US carriers use, use voice and put voice and data on uh, LTE at this point. Uh, sorry, an exception to that, Sprint doesn't do voice over LTE, but everyone else puts both voice and data on LTE. So if there is LTE signal, that's probably how you're going to be connecting. If not, uh, it'll be UMTS. Right now, my phone isn't showing the technology, usually next to the bars, it would say LTE or not LTE. Uh, my phone, because I'm doing a screen recording, always shows that Wi-Fi icon. If, you know, if, 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 if you're doing this uh, on your own phone, you can just turn Wi-Fi off. You can see mine is actually already turned off, but it's still showing that Wi-Fi bar. Anyway, you're likely gonna click on LTE here. So I'm gonna just choose LTE. And now you'll see there's a whole bunch more uh, menu options. And the one you wanna go to uh, initially, um, I'll show you a couple more of the menu options and why they're interesting. But the serving cell measure, so the fourth option down, the serving cell measurements is the option you wanna uh, check, click on. And then you'll see there's a bunch of readings here. So RSRQ0, RSRP0, um, RSRQ1. Um, so the 0 and 1 labels are because uh, modern phones have multiple antennas in them. The iPhone 7 has two antennas in it. It's used for MIMO. Um, so multiple input, multiple output. The, the two readings for the 0 and 1, so you'll see RSRP0 is the second option down. And there's an RSRP1 that's the second option from the, bo uh, from the bottom right above the timestamp. Those two readings are both signal strength readings. They're slightly different because the two antennas are seeing slightly different signals, um, but they should be usually pretty much in line. The other, uh, so that's your signal strength reading. That's what you used to see in the top left is what's shown next to RSRP0 and RSRP1. The other measurement that is really interesting here is the SINR, SINR0 and SINR1. So you'll see one is four and a half and one is three and a half at the moment. SINR is a measure of signal quality, um, which means how clear is the signal that's being received by the phone. Um, so you'll see these two are kind of hovering around similar numbers. Sometimes they'll fluctuate from each other a little bit, but generally a SINR um, under five is reasonably unclear, so it's reasonably uh, noisy uh, signal. And a SINR over 10 is really good clear signal. So my phone is showing um, uh, a sign R of somewhere between four and, uh, four, and, four and a half, 10, maybe somewhere averaging around that eight range. You've got to watch it a little while. Um, but this sign R reading is a measure of signal quality. I've got decent, not incredible uh, signal quality. This measure goes all the way up to 30, um, but it's decent. And my RSRP at neg 103 is middling signal strength as well. Um, so that's kind of a sense of uh, these different measurements on this screen. Um, again, you, you kind of want to look at both of these numbers. They're going to fluctuate a little bit, but kind of average them in your head and you'll get a strength, a sense of RSRP. Uh, RSRP is the signal strength measurement. Um, in 2G networks, we used to use RSSI. Uh, in 3G networks, it was RSCP. And now in 4G networks, it's called RSRP. They keep changing the terminology, but really it's just a measure of signal strength. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to show you that's quite neat with these Intel uh, phones is that you can uh, click on this option called CA status down the bottom. So CA stands for carrier aggregation. So newer devices, and including the iPhone 7, can connect to the cell phone tower on multiple frequency bands, and they can use those multiple frequency bands to get you a better data rate. So you can see my phone here um, uh, at the repeater store office is um, 
get is using is connecting on two carriers there's component carrier zero and component carrier one um carrier it also shows you the band so where it says dl underscore rf band and you'll see it says band two uh so my phone is connecting uh once on band two which is uh at&t's 1900 megahertz band and then again at the bottom, you'll see it's connecting on band 12, um, which is the 700 megahertz band. So my phone actually has two active connections to the cell phone tower right now. Now, one thing that isn't actually really clear from this measurement is, you know, which one of these is actually, which of those two bands is actually showing up here in um, the uh, cell measurement um, option. That's not really indicated. Um, you know, there are potentially ways to figure that out. If you go into this other cell, serving cell info uh, branch, you can see um, the there's a 9820 downlink frequency channel. Uh, there are websites where you can put in the LTE downlink uh, uh, frequency and figure out exactly what band you're on. Um, in most cases, if you're in an area with a really weak signal, you're probably going to find that your phone's only connecting on one of the two bands. So the carrier aggregation probably isn't going to happen. But there can potentially be up to three bands that are simultaneously used by the iPhone 7. It may be more with the iPhone 8 or the iPhone X. Um, but that's a quick tutorial on how to get signal strength and signal quality and uh, a little bit about carrier aggregation on the iPhone 7 that's running the, uh, the Intel chipset. Um, we're going to put up a similar video for uh, the Qualcomm chipset that's used in Verizon and Sprint phones. Um, so watch out for that. Uh, thanks so much.